Hey, April is Distracted Driver Awareness Month. And uh, I never intended to get into these plasma LED light bulbs, but if a customer of mine turned me on to them and had a direct relationship with the manufacturer. And so we worked with them over a number of months and we got these dialed in so they will work with a Mercury Cougar. Uh, we've sold hundreds and even thousands of them to Mercury Cougar owners all over. Well, the other classic car guys have caught on and we didn't mean to, but now we're a distributor and we have our own brand, WCCC, right there on the bulb of plasma LED lights. Keep in mind as you surf the internet, you're gonna come up with a lot of listings of this bulb. They are not the same. Read the reviews on Amazon, eBay, and elsewhere, and you'll find out people are very unhappy with many of the bulbs offered out there today. Then look at the many reviews on our website. These are astoundingly bright. Here's the deal. Um, I'm going to start giving these away for a limited time till supplies last. Uh, I'm going to give away a couple hundred of them. Anytime you make an order of $150 or more on our website, has to be a web order, order not a, a phone in order, you can put in the comments plasma and we're going to give you an, one 1157 LED red light. I'm passionate about these. I think if I give away enough of them, I'm going to save somebody's life. And you Cougar owners that already have them, that make orders on my website, I would hope you would take these over to your neighbors and show them, well, guys that still have, you know, 1157s in their old cars especially classic motorcycle owners. They got one little dim light. Now, look at this. These running lights are on right now. These are incandescent bulbs. You can't even tell. Go ahead and hit the brakes there, Richard. If you're a classic car owner, you've probably had people come up to you and say, hey, did you know your brake lights are out? Well, they're not out. It's just that these old lenses get uh, dull and UV damage. The bulbs never were that bright. And here's what's happened. Remember, remember a few years ago when we saw our first LED lights on the highway on emergency vehicles and like semi-trailers? We're like, whoa, that's bright. Well, now we are so used to them that we don't even, we don't even acknowledge these anymore. So um, I like original on my cars, I won't kid you. But when my family, my kids, my <laughs> wife drives one of my classics, they have to have one of these or a full set of these in the car before I let them out of the driveway. These are lifesavers. They are brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I'm going to put one in and we're going to show you a comparison. On, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. Yeah, now do brake lights. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a difference. You got to see what six of them do. <laughs> <laughs>difference is most notable at night time I mean it's bang on off but in the daylight as you know the incandescence you can't even see them on these old rigs so to me this, this is a lifesaver uh, it'd work even better if I'd cleaned the, the debris and dirt out of the textured inner portion of the taillight lens and buff the outside you can get plastic polish at any auto parts store and it really does make a difference 
This is our yard truck. It doesn't even really leave the property much, but once in a while we go out in the road and go over to our next address, which is the warehouse. So I want to have good brake lights on this. Anyway, I uh, hope this helps you out. Take one over your neighbor, your friend. Next time you're at a car show, you got one in your pocket, demonstrate it to somebody. Thanks for spreading the word for us. There's your problem. Did you say you wanted patina? <laughs> <laughs> so this is our yard truck. It's a 1966 Ford. Started life as a F100, but my grandfather who bought it new said it needed to be a F250, so he found a wreck and made it a F250. I learned how to drive a manual transmission on it when I was a kid. My cousins, my aunt, my boys, uh, a lot of memories in this 400,000 mile truck. Doesn't leave the wrecking yard or the forest too often. My grandfather retired it to the ranch, Fort Rock, Oregon, uh, in 1993, but keep it around for memories. It's, it's used up, it's wore up, but I can't get rid of it. Just too many good memories. As an aside, my grandfather's ranch in Fort Rock, Oregon was uh, close to, to Cougar Mountain and they lived on Cougar Mountain Road. Little did I know as a kid growing up that I'd be into cougars. But lots of memories in this truck, jackrabbit hunting with uh, halogen spotlights at all hours of the night, uh, going out at 2 and 3 a.m. to check moisture to see if we're ready to bail the alfalfa. Uh, long trips through the desert talking with my grandpa kind of learned how to be a man a little bit in this truck times with my grandfather can't get rid of those memories